All right, hello class. Today I'm going to go ahead and run through the entire Excel mini lab that uses Sunspot data. It kind of occurred to me that I could just do this on a screencast from start to finish uh, in case any of you guys were having problems with a particular spot. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to my main website, come down here and click on Honors Physics. Then you should see Course Materials down here. Click on that. We're going to go into chapter one, and there are two files in here that you're going to want to use. The first is the Excel mini lab. So this is all the instructions. Uh, make sure that you have that open so you can follow along with what you're supposed to do. Otherwise, the information, the data that you need is all in this file, the monthly sunspot numbers. Instead of clicking on this, if you click on this right here, it will open up the information but it's going to be in more of a preview mode. By the way, I'm doing this on a Macintosh and I am using Excel 2011. That's what this was really designed for. From the website, instead go over here to the little download arrow and go ahead and download it into a Word document. So here we have all of our information. You can see it's just a huge amount of data. I did that on purpose, so you have to use Excel to crunch these numbers. Now the easiest thing to do is go ahead and go up here to edit and say select all and then we're just going to copy it. So on a Mac I just push command C to do that. It's now in the clipboard. I really don't need this anymore. Uh, I'll close that. I also don't really need my website anymore. So what I do need is I need Excel and I will open a workbook here. Now I'm gonna to go to cell A1 and I'm gonna paste my data. Before I do that, I guess down here, uh, I make mention about being in the same format as me. It's mostly just because I take little pictures that I have in those written instructions and it'll look the same if you are in this format um, right here, this one. So, all right, anyways, go to A1 and now I'm gonna push Command V to paste. So I've pasted all my information in there. All of this information, even though it's spreading out into columns B, C, D, it's all actually in column A. You can kind of see that here. If I click on something here, it shows all the different numbers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up, we're gonna click on the first set of numbers, so avoiding the title. I'm gonna hold down Shift, hold down Command, press Down. That highlights all of the information in that column. So now I have all the data. And I'm gonna go up here to Data and I'm gonna say text to columns. So I click on that, I wanna keep this here. I'm gonna push next. Uh, when you do it, it may very well have space turned off. What it's doing is it's saying, how do you want me to separate out this information? These numbers are separated by spaces and so I'm gonna click on space. Every time it sees a space, it's gonna put it into a new column. So. I clicked on that, these vertical lines are showing me new columns, I'm gonna click finish. It happens to put a blank uh, column over here, mostly just because the data happened to have a space in front of it, which is fine, I actually am gonna use that anyway, so that's okay. But the next step that the instructions call for is to highlight this to this row here, and I wanna add a blank row above it, so I'm gonna go insert row. That gives me some room to put in some titles. It turns out that each of these 12 columns is a different month. So this is gonna be January. And Excel is smart enough that after I press enter there, it knows what it's supposed to do. I'm gonna grab this in that bottom corner. Notice how the cursor changes. I have this little white plus sign. I go to the bottom right corner over here, I get a little black plus sign. That means that I'm ready to click and drag that and it's smart enough to know that it should put the different months out. Down here, each of these rows is a different year. So I'm gonna start with the first year, 1749, and I'm going to, instead of, you know, I could say 1750, 1751, type them in individually. But what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna say, I wanna make an equation. I wanna say that in this cell, there's going to be an equation, a cell referencing. So I start that by hitting equals. I want it to reference whatever cell is above it. 
so in this case that one so I just hit the I click the button with my mouse and then I say plus one so it takes the cell that's above it and it adds one so if I go down here it's this cell is taking the cell above it and it adds one well you can drag that all the way down by again grabbing that bottom right hand corner and double click okay so that's going to take us all the way you can see our 2011 is the last little bit of data that we had there. So that actually takes us through uh, through section three. And now starting section four on this, it says crunch a few numbers. What I wanna do is I'm gonna come over here to N2 and I'm gonna make a new column that's called total annual. So what are the total annual sunspots? Well, that means I need to add all of these numbers together and I need to do it lots of times. So I come over here to this cell, start a new equation. So I press the equal sign and I want to sum, I want to add all the numbers together. So I'm going to sum and then open a parentheses and then click over here and drag over and grab that. Notice I did not get the year in there. You do not want to add that year into it. So I have sum open parentheses I've clicked and dragged my numbers that I want now I need to close parentheses and press enter so here's my 971.1 I want to do that for all of these cells so I'll double click and that will finish that all the way down through alright we want a few more numbers here so now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna say I want the average sunspots per month. That means I need to average all the numbers that are in here, okay, every single month. So I'm going to do that by starting, oops, sorry, actually in my instructions I say, hey, why don't you format this a little better? This text runs way out of the column, but what we can do is we can go up here and if I go in between P and Q, I can double click on that. You can see the little double arrow there. Double click and it auto fits for that there. So now I'm going to average my numbers. So I'm going to come in here, start a new equation, type average, open parentheses. Going to come over here and grab the first of my numbers under January. Don't grab the year to the left. I'm going to go over here to December. Make sure you don't go too far and grab the total annual. And now I'm going to go all the way down. So we'll scroll that down, taking a little while la 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 okay so we get here and now I'm gonna close the parentheses I've let go of the mouse now and I'm gonna close the parentheses and press enter and here's my number there okay so that's an average of all of them now uh, while we're at it let's make sure we understand that we can type standard deviations in Excel so standard deviation to do that in Excel you type equals and then STD EV and in fact it always puts these up if you're on the right track it'll kind of tell you um, what the built-in functions are but so there's standard deviation now open parentheses and let's click and drag those same numbers here so boom again don't get that total annual so let's go down All right, there's that, close parentheses, press enter. 